months from now, when you walk out the door, right, what would you consider your senior year a success, let's say? But I'd like to invite you to do something else. What is what does God want out of your senior year this year? Your senior year. Have you asked him that? He, he's crazy about you. He's crazy about you. And he would love to join you on your senior year. He would love to. seven, seven through eight. We all kind of talked about, you know, what were we concerned about going into senior year and, you know, what were going to be the challenges that we were going to face. And one thing that I thought which really helps me out in my times of trouble and things like that is knowing that going to God in those tough moments and trusting in Him is what helps me get through it. So we picked Philippians 2, 3 through 4, which is, do nothing out of selfish ambition or vain conceit. Rather, in humility, value others above yourselves. We're hoping to unify each other by being the leaders and being bold by taking the first step by reaching out to underclassmen, by reaching out to people that we don't interact with a lot. Kind of our group's focus was like sustenance and what it means to like be sustained. When we meet these troubles that we have, like it's going to be hard to push forward. Uh, and sometimes it feels like we're not on like solid ground or being sustained, but Jesus is sustenance. His living water will never go away. We will never thirst. His water wells up to eternal life. I kind of took that for granted last year and I left and like, I, the school I went to, I was like, no one was really connected, no one cared. And it was a hard year and not a lot of people were there. And I took for granted everything I had at VA. And I just really want everyone to be close this year. We do have a connection among all of us, but we think that there's definitely room to grow in that connection and build this bond stronger, especially in this last year we have together. I would like for everybody to put your hands down. You're gonna vote on the verse you would choose personally, you personally. Please raise your hand if you think that is our verse this year. Please raise your hand and keep it up, please, okay? He desires for you to have peace, not to live in fear, not to live in anxiety. He desires you, and it's not me producing peace, it's him. Second Corinthians 13, 11. Dear brothers and sisters, I close with these last words. Obviously, Paul the Apostle was not a senior when he was writing this. But as you guys think this, this is your last year, this is your last chance to make an impact in Berlin Academy. It's almost like you're saying, you know what, if I can tell you one last thing, this is what I'll tell you, be joyful. Pretty cool, right? Grow to maturity, not just physically, right, but spiritually, mentally. Live in harmony and peace. And then the God of love and peace will be with you.